Hey guys, Mike here. In this video, I'm going to explain the most common reasons why you get hit by the monster and what you can do to not have that happen anymore. The first common reason why people get hit is because they are stuck in an animation or basically animation lock greed. And the most common case for beginners is stuck doing an attack and then the monster hits you while you're doing that attack. And a lot of people think that this is usually only for the slow weapons. That is actually not the case. This actually happens even with the fast weapons as well. For example, Dual Blades, second hit in the X combo in non-demon mode is actually a very hefty animation lock. And if you do that and you're not aware of how much time it takes to do that, then you will definitely get hit. Animation lock can also apply to other actions as well, such as sheathing and healing and even roll canceling. So if you roll cancel in one of the four directions in the wrong direction, you're stuck in that roll recovery animation and the monster can easily hit you. So the way to solve this is to just not do anything. Just stop doing stuff. <laughs> stop getting hit but that requires discipline and if you are actively experimenting with a monster to see what you can and cannot get away with it's not that big of a deal but if you are trying to play better try just stop doing things and you will get hit less often i guarantee you that by the way if my videos have helped you shaved off uh, at least two or three minutes off your hunt feel free to subscribe i keep making videos like this there's so many talks i can talk about all right let's talk about the next common reason so the next common reason is you're against the wall let's say you're an evasion based weapon so you mainly rely on dodging to avoid monster attacks let's say you're backed up against the wall of the arena here like this and let's say the monster does a charge all monsters have a, some form of a charge but this really applies to all monsters well the monster's gonna charge this way and slide along the wall like this so if you're trapped against the wall there's literally nowhere you can go to avoid this attack you can't roll this way you can't roll this way you can't roll into them you can't roll back against the wall you're, you're just gonna take a hit uh, arena awareness is a big skill that you need to master the only way to avoid this is to one either use a guarding weapon because guarding weapons can fight against the wall they can just guard right or two you need to move away from the wall you need to get in the habit of moving away from the wall even if this means that you're not hitting the ideal weak point it's better than taking a hit because in the long run you will do more dps if you don't get hit now it doesn't need to be as exaggerated as moving all the way over here perhaps instead of just standing here you just stand here on the other side of the head so at least this way he will turn this way and you have a better chance of dodging the charge if you are standing here instead right you can just roll this way the next common reason is being boxed in by the monster hitbox. So let's take a standard Dollar Dragon for example. This is the body here, these are the front legs, and these are the back legs. So being boxed in by the monster means, and this is particularly true for short weapons, if you're standing here, like too deep inside the monster and the monster does a charge, then you can get hit by this leg that comes forward. Or you, you might be standing right in here in front of the monster and you literally cannot escape the monster in time because your movement is blocked over here and over here. Additionally, this leg is also making it hard to escape to the right. So like to get away from this monster, you need to literally do a 180 turn, turn around, move back a little, and then get out of the way. And for most situations, that's just not enough time, especially if the monster is enraged. This is typically an issue with Elder Dragons. Elder Dragons have the standard hitbox and it's usually annoying. Fatalis is another example as well. Fatalis probably looks more like something like this. And if you're trying to hit the stomach, he likes to box you in with his legs. But then again, other dragons are supposed to be harder. So. so the way to fix this is you need to attack from ideal position. So you don't want to attack from here. Really, if you need to attack Vitalis in the stomach, you need to get more central. So he's not boxing you in with his little legs. Same thing with elder dragons. If you're going to attack the leg, don't attack it from in here, really. Try to attack it from out here. You're going to go for the head. Make sure you're not in too deep here. And the final reason why you keep getting hit by the monster is because you're not investing in defensive skills enough. So evade extender, evade window, and guard. And to some extent for some weapons, constitution or marathon runner because you're just running out of stamina too often. And uh, one common thing I hear from people online is that this is a comfort skill. These are not comfort skills, they're essential skills. Because the most common argument for comfort skills is that they make sure you don't get hit. And that's that's not a comfort skill, that's a essential skill to not get hit. Additionally, if you don't need evade extender for a monster, and in some cases it can also minimize the amount of actions you take. Say a monster does a really slow attack on you, and it requires two evades to get out of the way. There's actually a time cost associated with two of those attacks. Whereas if an evade extender just allowed me to roll away into the ideal spot in one action, that's actually a DPS gain because it gives me about 0.1 to half a second more time to attack the monster. So rather than thinking of defensive skills as comfort skills, I would think of them more as, does this make me more effective in my damage output? And a lot of the times for a lot of monster matchups and monster sizes too, the answer is yes. For example, there's an event quest with uh, Tigrex and that Tigrex is extremely large. You don't invest in evade extender as an evading wet type weapon. That monster is going to hit you and you can't even get to the weak points in time without evade extender on that monster. So pay attention to these things and you'll stop getting hit by the monster. Thanks for watching.